and Nikki. Hello, Teacher Mary. And hi, Malaika. It's so awesome having you guys back in Bible class with me today. Are you excited? We are so excited to be back. Oh, that's awesome. I think we need to see if there's anybody else in Bible class with us today. What do you guys think? Yes. Let's have a look, yes. Okay, let's have a look. I see Malaika. Hi, Malaika. And I see Teacher Nikki. Hi. And who else do we see? All right, we see you. Welcome back to Bible class, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us, and I'm so excited to be here with each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. But first, Teacher Mary, we have to sing our Bible class song. Let's sing. Tick tock, says the clock, we're glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock, God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock, it's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock, to love and learn and laugh. Yay! Well done, everyone. Now, Teacher Mary, I hope you remembered to read your Bible this week. I did. And I hope you did too. Remember to ask Mom and Dad to read your Bible to you every night before you go to bed mm -hmm. or even in the mornings. Now, Teacher Mary, this reminds me of our Bible Word song. Ooh. Are you guys ready to sing? Teacher Mary? Yes. Bible words, Bible words, thank you God for Bible words, it's the truth for all to read, thank you God for Bible words, yay! Well done boys and girls, now I hope you guys are excited to hear an amazing story from the Bible, mm. remember to keep your ears open and enjoy. Hello boys and girls, today I want to talk to you about King David. Have you heard of King David? If you haven't heard of King David, you need to ask somebody to read you the story of King David. King David was a mighty king. He was a great man. And you know what made him so great? Is that he loved God with all his heart. And God loved him as well. He didn't just love God and he wasn't just obedient to God and listened to what God's word said because he was scared or he really loved God and he loved to obey God's heart. But the other thing about King David is that he loved his family. He loved his family very much. He had lots of boys and he had lots of girls as well. He had sons and he had daughters and he loved all all of them very much. He loved all of them equally. But not all of his children loved him back the same way that he loved them. In fact, today I want to tell you about one of his sons. His name was Absalom. And Absalom was a naughty kid. He didn't enjoy listening to his dad, King David. Everything King David said, he was just like, no, I don't want to listen to you. Just because he did not have a heart for his dad, like his dad had a heart for him. Whenever his dad told him to do something, Absalom would go, no, I don't want to do it. And so he really, really didn't listen to his dad. But what's beautiful about King David is that even though Absalom was such a naughty child, his dad still loved him every single day. His dad never stopped loving him. Doesn't matter how disobedient he was. And so I want to ask you today, what kind of son are you? What kind of daughter are you? And do you love your family? Maybe you're living with mom or dad or both, or maybe you're living with a granny or, or your grandfather or an uncle or an aunt, or maybe you're living with somebody else that's taking care of you and they are your parents, they are your caregivers. Do you have a heart for them? Do you love them with all your heart? Do you obey them? Do you obey your teachers when they tell you to do something? Do you obey your parents? The sad thing about Absalom's story is because he did not obey his dad, King David, things went very, very bad for him. He was not a happy person in his life. And you know what? The Bible says 
when we obey our parents, when we honor the people who look after us and care about us, we will be filled with joy and we will live happy lives. So this week, this is what I need you to do. I want you to go to the person or the people who love you, your parents, your family, your uncles, your aunts, your, your grannies, your grandpa, anybody who looks after you, anybody that you stay with, that cares about you. And I want you to put your arms around them and look them in the eyes and say, I love you with all my heart. Will you do that this week? Whether it's mom, dad, anybody that takes care of you, just put your arms around them and say, I love you with all my heart. Keep well. See you later. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. Malaika, did you enjoy it? And Teacher Mary? I really did. And so did I. Today, we learned about a man from the Bible whose name was Absalom. Mm -hmm. Now, he was King David's son. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't a very good son. He did some naughty things. He wanted to kill his father. He wanted to be king instead of his father being king. And that wasn't very good. And there was a lot of fighting happening. Mm. And he just, he wasn't a very good son, Teacher Mary. But you know what? King David still loved him as his son. And he forgave him. Mm. Now, Teacher Mary, I think Malaika's a bit sad today. Malaika, are you okay? What happened? Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, Malaika. Malaika says that there's two people in her family that are fighting. Mm. That's not very nice. No. Malaika, you know what you should do if that happens. If people you know are fighting, you need to comfort them. Give them a hug. Tell them it's going to be okay. Mm. You know what else you can do? You can pray for them yeah. or pray with them yeah. to help them feel comfortable, to help them feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, Teacher Mary, mm. I think you need to tell them as well that fighting is not very good and that we shouldn't be fighting with each other. Mm. Instead, let's be nice and kind to one another. I hope you guys will remember that. Until next time, bye. Bye.